In this video, I try and fix an Xbox One S that doesn't have a display. The HDMI in port has been removed somehow, I still don't know how, and the HDMI out port, which goes to the TV, is in a very bad state. Somehow I think just a simple port swap isn't gonna fix this issue. This is also another clip from my live stream. Enjoy. The front panel, there's no LED. So you know how usually you can see LED? There's no front panel LED. So to turn this on, I use the eject button, but there's no light to tell us it's on. So I think the LED and the power button on this particular console is done for. So what I'm going to need to do, need to do is either take off this board and replace it with another Xbox One S board, which I don't actually currently have, or fix the on button. But it looks like it's snapped off, so I don't know if that's going to be replaceable slash fixable, but I will look into that. Okay, let's turn this off. I don't know how. I'm just going to pull the plug. The reason I'm doing that is because I, I physically can't turn it off any other way. Okay, there is a hard drive. It's a 500 gig. Let's take that out first. Um, so I'm again, like I said, I'm just going to try a hard drive. Okay, we're going to go back to the overhead camera, uh, to the capture card. That's the one. And we're going to see if this has fixed it. Doubtful, but worth a try, right? Oh, well, I just got two flashes. Oh my God, look. The LEDs come on. And it didn't come on straight, straight away when we had power to the console. It just turned on. Okay, so new hard drive. Still the same thing. What we're going to do is put the old hard drive back in the caddy. Just so we know that that is the original hard drive because I reckon that's working, personally. This is the board that we're looking at. Can you guys see how the uh, the on button is screwed? See how the on button is screwed? Usually you have like a white bit there and it would be a button, right? That button's gone. So yeah, everything else is fine. There's a sync button and then we have the eject button over here. Ready for the, H this is the uh, HDMI in. <laughs> what the flip? Yo, what's up in there? Northridge Fix would call this a Hiroshima. What is going on, man? That's not the out. That's not the out. So this isn't the port that we need to worry about. But look at this, man. I don't know where this port's gone. Like, some, it's clearly just... Um, why is somebody taking it out, though? I, this doesn't make sense to me. That's why she's not playing, uh, displaying probably blown ESD. You think so? So wait, are you talking about ESD as in that? That's an ESD filter, no? But there's also an ESD filter for the HDMI um, out uh, in. HDMI out. Th Do you want to see the state of the HDMI out? I don't think you guys are ready for this. This is the HDMI out. I think the problem is the HDMI out. <laughs> what is going on? Like who, like what? Like what, where, who, how? I've never seen a port like that bad. I don't know if anyone else has. I've never seen a port that bad. I've seen port like pads pulled and stuff, but I've never seen an actual like, yeah, all the pins are done for. Yeah, no wonder there's no display on this bad boy. Man, that needs to come straight out. Okay, let's get this, um, let's get this HDMI off and see what the damage is to the ports, to the pads, sorry. We're gonna go hot air station, hot air gun. Full speed ahead, like a choo choo train. And we're gonna get this port off right now. Here we go. I'm not looking forward to seeing this. <laughs> I'll be 100% honest with you guys. <laughs> Here's the back of the port. Look at this. Disgusting, man. Whatever was on this was disgusting. How are the pads? Oh. My god, by the way, the pads are fine. That's actually gone through, but everything else looks okay, to be honest. I'm gonna put some low melt solder on, then I'm gonna wick off. Okay, that's the plan. I think all the ones on the left are okay. I think these ones are okay. But when we start getting down here, that's where we start coming across some issues. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna solder up. I'm gonna use the iron. I'm gonna use the iron up. That's having a hard time taking solder, you know. That's having a real hard time taking solder. Yeah, I'll clean it. I'll clean it. I'll clean it. I'm just worried about the pads. If I clean them, they're just going to fall off. I think we're all in agreement that it's very oxidized. All right, I'm going to go back in with the uh, soldering iron. At least try and get some fresh solder. I'm just going to rest the solder. I'm just going to rest the iron on it. I'm not even going to... Um... That is what we needed to do. Good stuff, that. Good stuff, good stuff, good stuff. So, I don't know whether to just leave that. Clear it, clean out the ground holes. Try put, a, try, try put a port on and see what happens. What do you think? I think we leave it as that. I think it's good. I don't need to add anything else. Let me clear out the ground holes. We'll do that now. And I'll do that from the back so I don't risk damaging anything on, on that side. Right, Flux. 
here and here. My, the issue with this as well is that my soldering iron tips are getting very dirty because it's like obviously not great stuff, right? Whatever's been left there is uh, is horrendous, you know? I need to put some solder on the end of that to keep it going. What flux am I using? Greg, hello! Um, <laughs> Kingbow. Kingbow flux. I right, soldered. So this is solder paste. What's caused this issue, is it? So somebody's attempted to do this themselves, right? Which, do you know what? Anyone who does attempt to, to repair this themselves, fair play. Yeah, unfortunately it doesn't look like they've done a fantastic job, but at least they give it a try, you know? So, let's have a look and see if this is any better than what it was. So that's the right side, that's the left side. What do we think, guys? Better than what it was? Actually, looks like layers of the board have cracked around here. Look, see all, see all of this? Around where it says 8. Like, this all looks cracked. What's that thing from Lord of the Rings? I, don't, I haven't really seen Lord of the Rings, to be honest, but what is that thing? That Lord, what is it? The Eye of Saurus or something? <laughs> Isn't that it? The top one, just looking at me. Sauron, that's it. <laughs> right, should we get a port, chat? Um, I'm going to solder the port. So I'm going to solder the legs on the port for the Xbox One S HDMI one. And we're going to see how that goes. Now, somebody did say to me, heat the board from the back and do it like I did on the Nintendo... Yeah, the LCD connector, the ribbon, the ribbon cable connector for the Nintendo Switch. So heat it up through the back of the board. I'm going to keep all that flux there and I'm just going to use new flux when I put the port on. But everything else looks okay. It's just this part which looks like it's really deteriorating. I feel like something got in here, look, all along. Uh, do you want me? To, should I tin up the pads or not? What do you think? No tinning required. Cool. That's attached. That's attached. And there's a way to test, right? Where's the multimeter? So this is where we need to hold the probe here, and we need to see if the last, if this is attached. Oh wait a minute. Okay, there. And on the pin, I need to click. Yeah, ma'am. Let me just make sure there's no shorts by going side by side on each pin. These two are, but that's ground, I think. Is that ground? Oh no, wait. These two are ground. That's why, because these two are ground. Uh, now I need to put solder in the back of the port. Don't matter that these are touching, does it, guys? Because they're all ground, right? And look, the solder's gone through. What about this side? Yes, strong solder connections. Uh. Do you guys think I should do anything with these traces before we uh, before we test it? Because I'm scared that something's going to happen here and it's going to like destroy the board, you know? Because that looks like burn marks to me. Come on, you can do it. Let's go. Yes. <laughs> I'm going to put it back in the Xbox and we're going to see how we are doing. The HDMI is in. I'm turning on the Xbox now with the eject button. The Xbox is on. The LED light is very bright. Xbox fan is spinning. Ah. <laughs> ah okay. Oh, it's turning on now. Just press eject and it's working. Okay, no. Let me pause the music because fans spinning up. Are we gonna get? Are we gonna get an image? Ah, oh, no. <laughs> Unfortunately, not. I mean, we tried. I don't want to leave. I don't want to stop. I don't want to stop with this one. I have to make this work. I feel like I have to. And that's a good thing to test if there's an uh, open line on the on pin number 19 that an ESD filter could be dodgy. It could be a Nintendo Switch, guys. After this, what do you reckon? Now it turns on. I have to wait for a while and then press eject and then it turns on for, for whatever reason. This is another, this is a different hard drive.
pin 19 was definitely open line. So I think we done we done the reflow. When we done the reflow, this hard drive is gone bust. It doesn't work, whatever. It may be there was a short to it and it's just fried it or, or something. But then because we changed the hard drive, it works. Because I changed the hard drive. If you remember initially, I changed the hard drive and it wasn't working. 